In this episode of Bear TV News, we check in on our gallery exhibition, attend some of the U-Pike students' activities, check up on some of the latest U-Pike bears, sporting events, and much more. Hello, UPI viewers, and welcome to the March 2023 edition of Bear TV News. I'm Landon Rozier. And I'm Oliver Saunders. Today, we are covering all the recent news at UPI in our community. There's a new art showcase here on campus. UPI students come together to create something amazing now, available for you to check out. Reporter Seth Witt has more. On the second floor of the record building, the art exhibit has a new showcase where students tackled an important issue through the medium of art. So this is our uh, heart and soul expression art gallery where students were invited to, to kind of take some time to think about mental health, their own journey, um, and how it kind of expresses out in the world. They invited many classes to make art for the exhibit. Classes such as social work, psychology, religion, art, and even the campus as a whole made something for this showcase. There are some collages done by art students, so collages of different, um, kind of their own mental health journey. We have some expression pieces from our health and wellness and stress class in psychology. Our social work students, oh, you can see over here, they did some great work. And then right behind me are pieces done by our ACE program. Tackling such important topics, there are some things the university wants students to take from this. I think there's a couple things I hope students get out of this, or our whole UPike family, what they get out of this. Number one is that people are um, express themselves in varieties of ways, and we appreciate that. Secondly, that as we think about mental health, that means different things to different people. And one of the things we really want to invite people to do is to simply express where they're at. This has been Seth Witt with Bear TV News, signing out. Looking to improve your relationship with your significant other? UPike recently hosted an event that was very helpful to many of our students. Since starting the spring semester, Student Activities has had Alex Kohler hold seminars about relationships. The series was called Zero Shades of Grey, and this week she wrapped up the series. We got the chance of asking her about her passion. When I started doing this work, it was because I thought about all the things that I wish I had learned. And so to me, part of it is going back and talking to my past selves. My biggest piece of advice is to treat others the way they want to be treated and make sure that you're being treated the way you want to be treated. We spoke with the Director of Student Activities about why he believes there is such a need for seminars like this. Walking around campus you just see uh, a lot of college students are in a relationship but through body language you can see what's a good relationship, what's a bad relationship. Um, so with this, this is where this event kind of tells you how to be in a good relationship. The way for students to learn about what kind of relationships might benefit them is through the concept of love languages. You don't really realize what you want in a relationship until you, you kind of take that test and see what you really need to be a better you for that relationship. If you are interested in future workshops, please monitor the Campus Groups apps for more information. And I'm Blake Maupin with Barrett TV News. Do you know the effect alcohol has on your vision and the decisions you make? A student RA created an event to bring awareness to campus. Reporter Michael Lee has more. To bring awareness on campus, a RA is hosting an event. Drunk Goggle Kickball. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, sir! <laughs> <laughs> to show his point of view, a student talks with us about how this event will help students around campus and himself. Uh, it showed me how uh, drinking can impair your vision and decision making. To bring student engagement up on campus, Medeco recommends everyone to come out to events on campus. Yes, I would. I feel like it's really informative. And it's uh, important for everybody to know what drinking can do to you. This is Michael Lee with Bear TV News, and I'm signing out. 
Are you an optometry student looking forward to getting more involved in the community? The University of Pikeville College Optometrist and Vision Development is a group that focuses on optometry. Assistant Professor of Optometry Rachel Fitzgerald held an event for the organization in which guest speaker Joe Valari spoke to the students. Valari is a representative for the Burnell Corporation, a company that develops ophthalmic tools. I, came, I drove down from uh, Indiana to visit Kentucky College of Optometry to, to get the students involved that, that are involved with the COVD club and to visit faculty to make them aware. You could make a case I'm a brand ambassador to make them aware of the, the offerings we have and what's new and, and how to use some of the stuff that they're not familiar with. Up next is our U Pike Sports Update. Hey everybody, I'm Dasani Tate, and I'm here to tell you about the latest athletic news and events on campus. First up, we have a report on U Pikes men's basketball game. Today was a great showing of passion, guts, and grit with some incredible team play from our U Pike basketball athletes. Clearly, this game displayed rough competition. Fortunately, the Bears came together as one and grinded every single minute of the game. It became obvious that one individual had to take over the last minute of the contest. You know, we knew they were going to come out and press a, a full game, and uh, they're a lot better than their record shows, so we knew we had to come out and be tough the entire game. Adversity and pressure was handled appropriately. You know, I think we just got to take one game at a time, uh, want to know every day, come in and practice, uh, you know, treat it like that. But, you know, I think we've got an uh, opportunity to make a long run. And the player of the game expressed his love for basketball and love for the team after hitting this game when a shot to win. I love it. I, I love basketball so much. Uh, not just basketball, but the competition piece of it. I love being around all the guys and all the coaches. The crowd seeing this talented guard hit the game with a shot to seal the deal. In other news, our U Pike football team has resumed practice and has a spring game April 15th. To find out the latest updates on U Pike sports and see a schedule of upcoming games, visit upikebears.com. That's all for this episode's sports update. I'm Dasani Tate. For our last segment today, we have two UPI students we want to introduce you to. First up, we are highlighting a biology major with big goals. In recent years at UPI, biology was a pathway for many students interested in professional school. Starting this past fall, UPI announced a new major for students interested in that path. The science department launched biomedical science as a major. This week, we sat down with junior Mason Witt to further discuss the major. I am a double major in communications and biomedical sciences. I'm an OMSP and a member of the Biomedical Sciences Honor Society. Being in groups such as OMSP and Biomedical Sciences Honor Society it gives students many advantages that others don't have. I enjoy being a member of the Osteopathic Medicine Scholars Program because it allows me to do different things um, involving the medical field before I even get to med school. It also gives me a really good opportunity uh, to basically get into med school automatically. Um, and it gives me a, a really good uh, a foot in the door, per se. While sitting down with Mason, we discussed her plans for after undergrad. For as long as she can remember, being a doctor has always been a lifelong goal of hers attending the Kentucky College of Osteopathic Medicine and either becoming an orthopedic surgeon or a dermatologist. I've shadowed in orthopedic surgery and I absolutely loved it, but I also am really passionate about skin care and hair care. Um, and so I think I would really enjoy a career in that field as well. I'm Blake Maupin with Bear TV News. Next up, reporter Seth Witt wants to introduce us to a UPI freshman making waves in the FMA program. Jared White is a freshman at Upike. Originally from Houston, Texas, he still has his roots in this local town. When I was about five years old and my brother was like two, my dad had to get a job thing. I had to do a job that was sent to Pikeville. My pet mom, both my parents didn't want me or my brother to spend a lot of time without a dad. So um, 
we moved to um, a small townhouse. Even though we stayed at Houston every now and then, we lived in Pikeville. Jared is a film and media arts major, but his love for the medium has been a lifelong passion. Well, I've always been interested in film and I've always been interested in animation and all that. And I really have always liked um, having that form of art brought to life. This past November, Jared placed third in U Pike's Horror Fest Festival. He made a short horror comedy called Jerry and Mikey. It was um, very surreal. I was at a complete loss for words. I am very surprised yet very, very proud of myself considering I'm a freshman and they were all, and um, there were a lot of pretty good ones. Even though the film was only like two hours, not two hours, two minutes, um, it's, it took about three to four hours to actually film it and it took about a week to edit it. And most of like the middle part was just me and some good close friends of mine just like throwing ideas at a chalkboard and seeing which one was the funniest one. After graduating, Jared wants to be a storyboard artist, animator, and voice actor. This has been Seth Wood with Bear TV News, signing off. Well, that is all for today's show. We'll be back in a few weeks for more updates on the UPI community. I'm Oliver Saunders. And I'm Landon Rozier. This has been March 2023 edition of Bayer TV News. Stay presidential, Bears.